Hey, good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Xenonauts. We cleared a carrier, which was rough, but we only lost one person, although we have quite a few injured who are going to be uh, recuperating for a bit. Charlie's going to go see if they can clear this scout to get us a little bit of extra experience. Yes, mag weaponry. All right, excellent. Mag weaponry is great. Um, yes, heavy mag weaponry. All right, do heavy mag weaponry for me, because that upgrades our um, fighters. That's the one I was thinking of. And also the tank. I believe... I don't actually remember if the tank gets a mag weapon. Probably does. Um, we're not going to build any of these just yet. They are not that expensive, but I want to save money to do our... Uh, upgrading our fleet. Oh. Okay, and then Charlie's there. I wish the camera would stop doing that. Alright, what are we looking up out here? And of course, the other benefit to uh, when we finally get mag weaponry for everybody in the uh, A team is that we can start equipping the B team with the leftover plasma, which will make it easier for them to do uh, other missions. Alright, good. Okay, this is a reasonably sized map. Well, first things first, let's get up along here. Oh, oh great, there's a house staring at us. Fantastic. Um, and there's no cover. All right, we're gonna stick to this back wall over here. I think that's our best bet of uh, having some kind of survivability here. And the rest of you guys are going along here. Hmm. Well, now that I know I can just do this, rather than dropping the gun, that way she won't berserk and shoot anyone. Alright. We're pretty much just gonna run you across here. See if we can find anywhere that's safe-ish. Oh, is this... Yeah, this is the one that's weirdly bugged out. Alright, well. We're gonna have to hope that the... That door is... Or that building is... Safe, because there's no other cover for us to go to right now. Okay. Now I'm gonna have you... Sprint across here. Oh, never mind. I'm gonna have you crouch and shoot this guy. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> nice. All right. In that case, I guess you can just keep moving with everybody. As long as your gun's unloaded, you should be fine. If she, like, berserks and just loads her gun and shoots someone, I'm going to be upset. But, you know, learning experience, I guess. There it is. No, oh, she just panicked. She's just kind of hanging out there with her unloaded gun. Okay, so I don't see open doors on this house, which is good. So that should be reasonably safe. Um, and actually, this might be entirely blocked off over here. We'll have Chapman go... Oh, no, there's another opening down there. All right. Good to know. Everybody keep following Chapman along. This little... Uh... All right. We're going to have you guys... Good. Is there an opening over there? There is. Interesting. There's nobody in it. Mm. 
psionic shenanigans. Alright, let's... Alright, so there's the edge of the map. This is all clear. I haven't heard a whole lot of gunfire yet. There might actually just not be any civilians, or there's like one civilian, like, in the th third floor of this house or something. Alright. Load your gun. And come rejoin everybody else. Okay, dead end. Not a dead end. There's a building over there. I like the fence that's, like, along the hedgerow there. What a weird little, like, hedge maze that we've got going here. Look, this is entirely blocked off. There's only one way to get on the other half of the map. It's alright. Thomas Hill can get his steps in get some more TUs. for you guys. We're just gonna have you kind of all stack up over here. Okay. Just like all in the ship or something, huh? Hmm. Building with an open door. Could be there's aliens afoot. Guess we'll find out. Everybody just funneling in through this one narrow gap in a hedgerow. Bouchard and uh, Hill may as well actually just continue hugging the back wall here. Oh no. Well, there's our civilian. Multiple buildings. Okay. Well, this raises, uh, raises an issue. Because they both have open doors. And also, there's this, like, field out here. Which could also have dudes in it. a bunch of civilians in this little house. Well, that's good. Not to know you guys are alive. Oh, that's what I meant to do. That's fine. Okay, this one's good. Let's get ready to, uh, oops, move on over to the next one. Meanwhile, let's get you guys going down here. The ship has got to be, like, back here. There's actually nowhere else it can be. 
There's no windows on this side, which is good because it means I have a nice, safe approach for the other team. Cross here. Oh, there's our ship. Okay, this part's all safe. Oh, uh, ah, right, I need to get through the fence. I think we missed. Okay, and then you guys continue looping around fruitlessly back here, because there's nothing anywhere. <laughs> Again, I guess it is getting them all some nice TU build up from having to run all this way. We found what one uh, season outside of his ship. barn over here, but I don't, I don't have any you know, strong suspicion that there's a guy in there. It's just always good to not, you know, get shot in the back while you're uh, trying to set up to actually clear the ship. Oh, hello. Other civilian. Well, that gives me a pretty clear indicator. Let's go, uh, let's go get ready to open the door. Alright, can you make it all the way across there? You can. Barely. That was a bit risky, honestly. Mind that our uh, our dudes can still die even doing this easy mission, especially since they're only wearing jackal armor. They're not, you know, impervious to damage or anything. Okay, nobody opened on the door though. Fine by me. Oh, I could have set the support team up behind this hedge here. Damn. Would have saved them a lot of running. Well, I guess, again, running is kind of the point at this, this uh, level. Alright, open up. guy you're aiming for. Oh, 
Oh. There's another one. Mm. Alright, we're having a lot of room to move. To oh, hello. Interesting. Well, I mean, that saved me some time. Alright, good. Uh, our three privates got promoted to corporal. We got some money. Excellent. Alright, well, uh... That was very short. Um... Let's wait a little bit for some research to get done, I guess. Ah, good. Okay, so the Marauder has torpedoes and the cannon, which means it can actually replace all of our aircraft. Um, so we can actually start also decommissioning the Foxtrots. So we're going to get rid of you and replace you with another Marauder. It's going to cost us a lot of money. Oh good, our radar array is done. Carrier UFO. There's a uh, missing of the landing ship, essence a little more to... Uh, it's hangar bays and launch tracks fill considerable space, carrier still capacity to carry a sizable terror team or enough equipment to construct a large facility on the surface of our planet. Lower levels contain cargo space, crew compartments, three possible entry points, important systems located on the upper deck, etc, etc. Two electromagnetic launch tracks are along the full length of vehicles. So these things used for release escort craft is required. Neat. Alright, good. That's our uh our new soldier. Alright, I can't remember where you go right now. We'll deal with that later. Hello. Oh. That was a lot of stuff. Okay. Um, small's getting ignored for now. Large is getting two fox trots thrown at it. Large with two very small is going to have to wait until the Marauder gets back. Oh my god. All right. There's a lot of stuff happening now. I don't have anything to intercept you with. Do I try the engagement? Back to base. We're gonna re-equip you. UFO detected, large, so Foxtrot Corsair. Okay, uh tail that until it's over land for me. Shoot it down, head back to base. Uh oh, I need to uh you rename you. Need to have naming conventions. This is important. Okay, so there's another cruiser which I could send a Shrike crew out to, um, but we're not doing that in the middle of the night. So we'll probably just deal with all of this air stuff. All right, let me see if I can save some damage because I took a lot of damage just letting the auto resolve, which I should be avoiding. All right, Foxtrot one. Corsair 1. Alright, just keep turning right past them. Alright, kill that. Full turn. Bring it back up. 
There we go. Alright. Damage to the Corsair. But no damage to the Foxtrot. So that's fine. And we shot down another cruiser. Which is good. Uh, okay. This needs to be dealt with. Marauder 1 is rearmed. Do I think Marauder 1 can take these guys? 93% health and 100% ammo. Let's find out. Nope. Oh, that's a cruiser. Yep, nope, don't do that. Alright, you're gonna need something else for that. Okay, how do I deal with this? Um, Alright, I'm gonna nuke that for the moment. Hmm. <laughs> Foxtrot 2 is rearmed. Mm, yeah, they're both damaged. Damn. Alright, we're gonna have to uh, wait a little bit here. Another large UFO. Well, while I'm waiting for... Oh, you're being repaired. All right. Hmm. Worried that this guy's doing a ground attack mission. Rotter 1 has been fully repaired. Um, I'm wondering here. Definitely, I think I definitely need a Foxtrot. There's something we can do enough damage to the cruiser. I could send the Marauder up and see if I could take down the fighters, I guess. Do I want to risk it? Because if the Marauder gets shot down, I'm going to be in a very bad spot. I'm going to give it a try. goal here is to get rid of those fighters as best we can. So we're going to swing in for you. Speed boost, full. Just going to try and lance through you here. Whoa, okay, that carried me a lot further than I thought I was going to. Turn that off. Uh, where'd the other fighter go? Oh, it's like underneath the, yeah. Uh... Okay. All right, slow way down. Um, now we're gonna get into the cruisers. Nope, I'm trying to get you to turn. That's that done, and then we're gonna get you to turn again. Full speed. Ah, damn it. Yeah, I screwed up. All right, well, I'm pretty confident that if I play that better, I can actually take out both fighters and then put some damage on the cruiser with a single Marauder. Um, so that's good to know. The downside is that now I don't have a single Marauder. Uh, so there's that. Um, well, I think I'm going to call this here, and next time we'll send a crew out to deal with Crash Site 81 and see what we can do about 156. Uh, hmm. I think what we might do is send a Foxtrot up. Oh, they're gonna get shot down by the fighters though, aren't they? Yeah, they're gonna get run down by the fighters if I send them up alone. Damn, alright. Uh we might have to do some some long range shenanigans here. Send up a course two coursers and a foxtrot from Bravo. Oh, that's a lot of resources that we're wasting there. Alright, let's see if we can't. Mm, it's flying away from me. Mm, it's leaving. Oh, you're gonna run out of fuel before you get there? Damn it. Shit.
shoot. Okay, I don't have anything that I can send up to that. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, I'm gonna call it there for today, and we'll see what we can do about this. I might just... Because I'm worried this guy's going to do a base assault or a terror mission. I think I'm just going to airstrike this crash site. And we'll hold all of our troops back for now in case I need them for something else. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye. <laughs>